Yo, what's up guys, Patrick here, welcome back. And moving on to the next example, we're told the ratio of apples to oranges sold at a market is three to four, and then we gotta answer these two questions here. So starting with number one, if there were 36 oranges sold, how many apples and oranges in total were sold? So I'm gonna show you how to do this question, number one, in a couple of different ways. Now, first off, whenever I have ratios, I actually like to personally convert them to fractions. So we have apples to oranges, three to four. So what we can do is we can say apples over oranges is equal to three over four, like that. That is the ratio there. So notice that we're told 36 oranges are sold. So notice that with this ratio here, we can say, Remember, the denominator is the oranges. So if there are 36 oranges sold, how many apples are going to be sold? Because the ratio of apples to oranges always has to be, uh, be this 3 over 4 here. So what we can do is we can cross multiply. So 4 times x is 4x. And then 3 times 36 is 108. Like that. And then if we divide both sides by 4, we would end up with 27. And so what does this represent, x equals 27? Well, this represents the number of apples that are sold. But notice that they're asking for the total of apples and oranges. So what we would have to do is we'd have to add this 27 apples to this 36 oranges sold. And when you do that, the total would be 36 plus 27, which would give us 63. And so that there is the answer to number one. So that's one way to go about it. Find the number of apples with this ratio, since we're given the oranges, then add them, and then you get the total. Another way to do this is instead of working with a ratio of apples to oranges, what we can do is we can create perhaps an oranges to total ratio or an apples to total ratio. And that's actually what we're going to be doing in number two. So I'll introduce this in number one and show you how to solve number one in this way as well. But notice if the apples to oranges ratio is three to four, then the oranges to total ratio is gonna be four to seven. Okay, because what that means is that for every four oranges sold, there are three apples sold. So that means that for every seven fruits in total sold, three plus four, there are four oranges sold. And then the apples to total ratio would be three over seven like that, right? So you can also use these ratios to solve these questions. So notice that in number one, they're asking us uh, what's the total sold and they give us the oranges. So notice we got the oranges to total ratio. So we can say four over seven equals 36 oranges over x. x is the total that we're solving for. And so when we cross multiply here, we would end up with 4x equals what? Uh, 252, like that. And then notice x is going to be 252 over 4, which would give us 63. And so we end up getting that answer right away because we're dealing with the total in the ratio versus before we had to find the apples and then we had to add the apples and oranges to get this 63. Now moving on to number two, if there were 84 fruits in total sold, how many apples were sold? So which of these ratios will we use for this question? The ratio of the apples to oranges, oranges to total, or the apples to the total? Well, notice that we're given the total amount, so we know it's gonna be one of these ratios, and they're asking how many apples were sold given a total amount. So we're gonna be using that ratio right there. And so what we would do, apples to total, 
equals, we're solving for the number of apples given a total of 84, like that. Okay, so what we do here, cross multiply again, so we'd have 7x equals 3 times 84, which would give us 252. And then what we can do, divide both sides by 7, x would end up being 36. Right, so that is the answer to number two. If 84 fruits in total were sold, then there were 36 apples sold.